see the peacock on the boat. Yeah, pull the cars here and people are talking about peacocks. I have never in my I life seen... Nice. It's the same key as my Volkswagen Golf. I think it's going to call the start of Aero. <laughs> 7 million euro for that. And that one in the corner is probably the most interesting car here. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Another very special one, as you can tell by the sunshine, we are not in the shed. And the shorts. Yeah, not in the shed anymore. We are back in Abu Dhabi. So where we are right now is one of the compounds owned by the Abu Dhabi Royal Family. Now we're here because our friends uh, actually compete in the championship, we're part of the Royal Family, but we're allowed today to walk around and check out some of their, let's call them collections of big, huge warehouses full of very, very rare cars. Um, the one we're about to go into we haven't seen before, it's all been redone recently. And just to give you an idea of scale here, this whole land that you see behind us is about 26 kilometers around. Now think about that's the size of a very large town in Ireland that is just privately owned with different warehouses, different stuff. Um, so today we're going to take a little ramble around, bring you guys with us on the camera as we always do, and we have no idea what we're going to see. So we've just seen the door open inside here. We know there's some classic cars in this one. We don't know how many or what they are, so let's take a ramble in. I will say we're not taking notes today on what we're going to be doing for our compound. No, this is going to be nothing like our compound. I'm, I'm, I've never been into a, a garage where you take your shoes off before. Oh wow. All right, so we're gonna take a quick run around here. I have absolutely no idea what half of this stuff is. This is like an old horse and cart. <laughs> it starts up before even an engine. Model T Ford. Convertible Range Rovers. Peter looks after a lot of the cars here. Hi. Um, this is a bit of a crazy collection of stuff, isn't it? Some crazy cars inside. Yeah. Well, there's this technically every variation of Range Rover here. Land Cruiser, yeah. So where does it start? So it starts? That's Land Cruiser. Yeah. There's there. something over there now. Well, we've seen that before, but I saw it not in here, but I'll we'll get to that yeah. in a moment. <laughs> in the back there you have the Dodgers and then all the GMCs. But oh, okay. the craziest car inside here is that red power wagon. There's three red power wagons there though. Which one? The middle one? The last one. I like it when you say crazy like that and you know it's going to be something Well, let's just, crazy. before we walk on, these, I was are all, say. these are all just different versions of the classic Range Rover. All so, super low mileage. If not, no mileage. Can we have a look at one of the speedometers? Speedometers on yeah, there. Let's have a look at one. But this you one here is plastic on the seat, so I presume quite small. So there's a good chance this could be the delivery miles on here. 137 kilometers on the car from new. That is. <laughs> that's delivery miles. That's delivery miles. Ah, it's high mileage, 283 kilometers on that one. Oh, wow. That's, 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 been, around, that's been around the entire compound. <laughs> this one is, these don't look as new. This one has 63,000 kilometers, so that one's... That's the, I was going to say the pink wig. Past spotless though. So these are all... I love these power wagons here, right? Love these power wagons. They're very cool. So which one is... Which this one is, three is all original. These are all original. Three running. All of them are running. All the cars use running condition. And then the last one is the crazy one. This one, you know, the, like the gumball. Look at the, the, Look at the, the suspension. The straight away, straight away. They gumball in America. Yeah. They were planning on bringing gumball to UAE. So this was their answer to using the gumball. So just so you know, this has a Hellcat motor in it. Yes. 700 horsepower. 750 horsepower. Hang on a second. So they hadn't confirmed doing the gumball and they built this in case Which they did, right in case they did do the gumball. Why well, wouldn't you build a 750? Horsepower. These are originally 50s trucks? 60s? <laughs> yeah, 50s? Yeah. Probably 50s. Look at the lamps, even, Dave. They've got like LEDs in there and stuff. And look at all the side steps. Oh, Ooh. that's pretty jazz now. Well, it definitely doesn't look too old in here. That is unbelievable. That's the key from the Hellcat to start it. Okay. And all. These are Hellcat seats. Hellcat seats. It's ready. What's I'll gamble tomorrow. This car's ready to go. Oh, they're ready, oh to, ready, ready to go. The, the electric seats work. I like, it. I like of, course, of course. We get we get amazed by the smallest of things. Well, if you want to get amazed by the smallest of things, also I'm going to show you these little cars in the middle here now, which is a. Uh, this is straight from Jurassic Park. 
This is now Hummer H2 golf carts. <laughs> and then I don't even know where to start with this. Then we have, I don't know, this is it Moak? Is that what they're called? A mini Moak? I don't know. This is, I think it looks like Jurassic Park. It's like a little mini Jurassic Park. It does. A tuk tuk, that's a, that, I will say, out of all tuk tuks, that is a, that's a, that's a VIP tuk tuk. These are all Land Cruisers, so these are all, every single variation of the old Land Cruisers. So if you're an old Toyota guy, these are every single variation of them, and all of them with next to no mileage. Some of them are unrestored, and some of them are original condition. So these are like, like if you look at the interior, they've barely been, barely been used. This one has a bit of mileage on it. That one there, this one only has, 436 kilometers on it. <coughs> I wouldn't say the steering is too precise now, to be fair. <laughs> Genuinely, look at that. 436 kilometers from new. That's bananas. I will say, away from these, those two are oh. the coolest looking. <laughs> look so at these. Are, these. This is a Ford. This is a Ford? It's a Ford. It's a Ford. It's a Ford. It's a Ford. It says Ford. But they look like a Wrangler or a Willys. It does, but it's a Ford. Look at the spotlight on it. This is now a bit of us. That's an 240Z. You definitely get a look at the mile. I reckon there's going to be a few miles on this. That one has a few miles on it. 90,000 kilometers. It's still quite low for a Datsun. I'll say it's high for here, but low for everywhere else. It's very hard where to focus when you're walking around somewhere it's like this. It's hard to take in what's yeah. going on, isn't it? I was going to say we kind of have to address. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to say that I could say that this first time I've actually been in this car for a drive, and I say car very loosely. This is the oh, what do they call it? Ramos. 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 The Ramos. Ramos. You know so, why the name is Ramos? Yeah, because it's the Dodge Ram underneath, yes. and the Ford Mustang on top. So I was, was actually Ramos. here, and which this is years what it ago looks when like. this was first delivered. So this is Khalifa's uncle. Decided to build this for no reason other than just he thought it would be cool and this is a Ford Mustang body Extended by 40 times its size on a full Dodge Ram on the largest white wall tires ever I've ever seen so they're white walls as you can see spare white wall on each side. Wait, this is the coolest thing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously I mean the, the original Mustang stops about here no, I think here. Yeah. You think here? <laughs> and then all of this is just extended back all the way. Convertible, by the way, as well. And inside... It looks exactly... It's a Mustang. There's quite a bit of modification going on here, I'm just going to say. Well, yeah, you can see where the Mustang kind of stops and what, it's, it's, what, whatever carries got a tow hitch. It's got a tow bar on it because, you know, it's a practical thing for towing around stuff with. Okay, let me know in the comments. Is this the most bizarre car you've ever seen? Because I think... What are you going to show me that's more bizarre than this? You know, you say this car's massive. So, what's this car next to it, Dave? It's a limo. It's genuinely... So this is a limo. A Lincoln Continental limo is the same length as this Ford Mustang now, which, you know, time on your hands. And you decided that a normal car modifying is not enough for you. Then you say, look, I'm just going to put a Mustang on top of a Dodge, and that's what I'm going to do. It's a Photoshop yeah. that's made into a real car. Just so you know, that is... A proper registration plate that is fully road, fully legal. road legal. I've actually been, years ago when this was delivered, I was actually in this car driving around. You feel, from if you imagine where trying the front of this car yeah. is when you're driving around, it, it makes absolutely no sense. Anyway, Peter's going to open the engine bay of the Hellcat motor um, truck, and I just want to see it, because so you guys want to see it as well. See, the thing is, we come to these places, and I know you guys go, oh, it's very hard to take in what's going on, but when you're standing here in your socks, um, I was say, in socks. and you're just kind of like, you think about Rolls Royces that have, you know, 100 kilometers on them. You think about cars that are made out of your mind. This is millions of euro you're looking at here. So it's very hard to take it in, but we're trying to relate it to what we can, but I want to see this Hellcat motor, it's insane. How in the name of God did they just... They... How in the name of Dodge? How in the name of Dodge did they get that in there? It's not a big engine bay. It's not a big engine bay for a big car. No. Like, Wilwood brakes. All of the I was gonna say the shocks. shocks, modern wheels. It's a very cool take on a very classic car. Oh. That's never gonna get old. Electric seats in a 1950s car. But if you think, oh, this is mad, we're not gonna finish here. We're gonna go look at some more cars in another area. 
and watch our heads explode live on camera. Yeah, pull the cars here and people are talking about peacocks. Those peacocks <laughs> roaming around there. So um, this is another storage facility. I don't think anyone's ever filmed in here. This is like a storage facility for cars that aren't exclusive enough to go in the main gallery and aren't classic enough to go in what we just saw. So who knows? We're just going to go in and see what's here, but apparently it's pretty mind blowing and yes it is. So we want to take a quick second in this video to thank one of our partners here at Drift Games, Mobile One Oil. Now what has this garage and our garage got in common? Absolutely nothing, except for the oil a lot of these cars use, which is Mobile One. Mobile One have applications for absolutely every car, van, truck, and they're the best in the business. So check out oil.ie for all your oil needs and tell them we sent you. So what we've got here we've now, started off. we've started <laughs> off high. Bright pink Renault Twingo beside a Yukon. Just, that's how random this is. This looks like it's an old patrol, but it's actually a new patrol. So they basically made the new patrol and the people here said, we like the old patrol. So Nissan said, we'll just make the old patrol again. That's a lemma. What? What? That's a lemma. No way. <laughs> oh, look at the length of it. Hold, hold on. Can, that we, is... can you see this? This is a normal one, right? Normal five door patrol. And then this one is, <laughs> what has happened here? This is fantastic. I have never in my I life get seen place. Adam, look how far Adam is away from us here. Like Hello! This, it's a normal patrol, not a small. Not a small, not a sm tr not a small car, a big boot. Car, big boot. Stops here, and then we come all the way back. Hang on a second, they've actually still got seats. <laughs> they have still got seats in so the what, boot. It's a, one, it's a five, six, seven, it's a nine seater patrol. Have, have, a, have a look at the interior as well. It's like shag. It's like shag carpet. Look at that. It's like you're sitting on a towel. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Oh, it that's smells. Lovely. Oh, you can't, I know you can smell it in the video, but it it's got a seat. It's got a. Oh, the boys love that. CB aerial. Nice. We're talking about the limos and stuff. Just turn around. Oh, good lord. 911. If I, I'm going to be wrong on a lot of this, I think that, that's a speedster or a speed. Yes. Yes. Yeah, hey. Yeah, right. And here we go. Four. F12. F12. Right. Yes. Yes. This Easy is, one. This is Halifa Day. This is the daily. So this, they've got, what, is it three other Veyrons? Three? This is a daily as well. Yeah. So this is, this Veyron is like high mileage. It's driven all the time. This one is, they have another four Veyrons and a Chiron, just, but as you do. Just, ha just have a look, and you're probably, you're probably so taken back by the car. Have a look at the front windscreen. I was just gonna say, should we quite, open it and see? Quite a bit of time. Like, it's, you would say it's light out here, wouldn't you? Have you ever opened a car that's worth more same, same than probably your entire area of where you live? We talk about dailies a lot on our channel, but this is, this is another level of daily. Okay, so the front windscreen. Like, <laughs> see nothing. imagine driving that at night. It's the same key as my Volkswagen Golf. Fuck off. That, that's a Bugatti Veyron key. My Mark V Golf has the same key as a big guy. So that means you know how to start one of these, because you have the same key. <laughs> like, Peter, Peter, could, could Adam start this? Yeah. Yeah, that's just casual, no, yeah. No, no, Adam, no, no. start a Veyron, go on. It's a story to tell the people back home, you just started a Veyron. It's got the same key as his Golf, so he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Adam, be careful now. Push, push that door out, because I can't get my leg in. <laughs> Speed enough for comfort, Adam, a bit like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> or the opposite way It's a bit more complicated than the golf, I think. <laughs> I can only imagine what his face is like. I'm not sure where we go from here. Yeah. We, we just cut the video here, will we? <laughs> On today's episode, Adam cold, cold starts and revs the bollocks out of a Veyron. He's, he's interrupting you there, revving the Veyron. Give it a rev! <laughs> I'm never getting out. 
It's 26,000 kilometers. He really does daily drive this thing. It's 26,000 kilometers. She's driven. It's driven. Hard driven. That's um, more than any of the miles we've ever here, While you were over there doing that, um, we were talking about, this is the main back obviously, but this number plate is, Peter, if you were to estimate the cost of how much num this number plate would be worth, what do you think? 30 million plus dirham. What? More, more than 30, 30 million, million dirham. So, so that what's is that euro? 7 million euro for there's that. This is number 11, this is number 12. And there's two of them? Yeah, this 11 and this 12. That's 14 million euro in two number plates, not including like the cars. Yeah. If you go on the, in the fast lane, right? You'll see all the cars is flashing it always. Yeah. If you drive with this car, nobody will flash it. You know because what? I would know. take the flashing for the price. They know this low numbers is family. Yeah. So the royal family they, have a lot of these numbers. Not bother. So low number, as you can see here, like the uh, number plates here are in the 20,000, 50,000. 151 there as well. 151. So you could buy okay. seven Veyrons for the same price as the two number plates on those cars. This is the brand new Bronco. I love these. They're really, really I nice. really like those as well. Yeah. No. So we got Maybach, Maybach. The nicest car in the world. This is just an F40 Ferrari, you know. And this is a, if I'm right in saying, there's another one of these. So this one is driven on the road. Yeah. So this is a road going F40. Not one of the ones with like 100 kilometers. This one's actually driven. All of these are driven. We replaced the turbo on this thing. The one turbo went out, 70,000 dirham we paid for the two replace one turbo, 70,000 dirham. So in relation that is nearly 20,000 euro for a turbo, one of the two. Right, and then here it just gets absolutely... I was going to say, where do you start? Your favourite car. My favourite car is there. Yeah, my favourite car in the world. And I didn't realise there are two of them, because there's one in the other collection. So this is a Neff. Twelve or something fancy. Jeez, look at this, it's all carbon. It's a P1? It's uh, LT. 675 LT. This is my favourite car in the entire world. In this spec, in this colour. The 4 GT. That's my favourite car in the entire world. It's just next to your car. Look. That's my, that's my angle. So basically this is your dream car and my dream car parked beside each other. And so we're so far away. In the colours we would probably buy them in <laughs> yes, too. Yes, absolutely. That's another GT, another Aventador, another 458, low mileage Viper. I will say we've, we've seen this one before. The mileage on this car now. What year is this? I don't know. This would be old. 50, <laughs> late 50s. This car has 22 miles on it. 22 miles from brand new Corvette Stingray. Hang on a second. A certified 22, 22 miles from new. We've got a Viper soft top, and then we have the official the pace car. The that's the official pace car for NASCAR. For NASCAR back in the day, Diablo, which is super rare. And that one in the corner is probably the most interesting car here. I've seen this before. It's, it's kind of crushed in there, but it's basically was a, one of. Well, a vector, which a vector. was basically a guy who used to be an Air Force pilot in the US Army, decided to make a car that he wanted to be like a jet fighter. And this is what he came up with. This place. And like, I just was going to say, Dave, H2. should we be careful going through here? H2, like, there's a Testarossa. Like, it's just so lost in this, like, just a full yellow Testarossa. <laughs> so this is a vector. This is probably the most maddest car you've ever seen. Um, Do the doors open up? Yeah. I, I'm not sure how they open, but I'll try and see if they open up. Doors go up, baby. So, <laughs> and they also come back down. <laughs> they also come back down pretty quickly. Ah, I want to show you, yeah, hold this. So basically, this car, the gearbox is here. So you pull the gear like a... You select the gear, you press the you button. You press the button to select your gear, and you pull it like in a jet fighter for thrust. You pull the gearbox into gear. That is just, must be the Look, coolest feeling I'm gonna ever. put a little light in here, because I want to show you how, you know Knight Rider? Yeah. Like, this is pretty much Knight Rider. Like, look how 80s it that is. It is like a, a plane. Fire plane. It's like a fire plane. And it has a little like radar screen kind of thing there. Look at, look at all the stuff in here. It's all like written, look at the exposed, door cards. exposed rivets. Um, engines in the back here, like how we see it, and it's like this is the wildest car I think that I've ever seen in my life. I'll grab that for you there, Josh, so we don't break anything. Have you got it? I got it. Okay. Just like a golf. And it's a 
classic winner, it's obviously. One, it's one I'm not stuff. surprised. Josh, just please give me a minute here because this is a lot going on for a car fan. This is almost like looking through fours at just like look at that view. Like that is just like looking through fours This is my garage in Forza. Actually my garage in Forza probably isn't you as good as you this. You couldn't even afford this collection on Forza. No. Oh, is, is there gonna be a step? I've got there's gonna be a step. There. Of course is a step. Oh, oh look at this. So we're, we're just not living lads. I mean, we don't even have a, a flip bin in anything we own. <laughs> no. Not even your house. This, even is, my house. <laughs> this is royalty here. That is madness. Just, it's a very overwhelming, Rob, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it's, 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 Rob hasn't spoken in yeah, half an hour. It's um, not very often I'm last for words, but I'm last for words here. This is something else, yeah, and this is only the start, as far as I know. Oh, is that the new, is that the Skyline Pro? Yeah, it's new, yeah, it's new R36, they, 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 the R35 wasn't selling well, so they... This is the new, uh, yeah, it's twin turbo. Yeah. They've got, the cars have got bigger over time though, like yeah. compared to the 33 and the 34, this is really... It looks a bit heavier as well. It looks well. a bit heavier, but you can carry a lot more people. But well, they said the 33 was a boat, right. this, the, the, the R36 is a boat, it's a bus. Yeah. This is the Skyline family car, you guys don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. it's like Skyline limo. Obviously still RB26 twin turbo, yeah, just, yeah. you know, a little bit more... Big. Yeah, yeah. yeah, while we try and take this in, which is pretty insane uh, for a car fan, even if you're not a super car fan or just a car fan in general, some of the figures, some of the rarity, this is, we're so lucky to get the access here. And thank you to Peter and obviously Khalifa, who's a friend of ours, um, whose family own all these. But Peter obviously maintains and services a lot of them, so he brought us in to have a look. And um, I don't know, like I think we were, I was only saying to Eddie his first time here, I was like, it's a weird place where you finish up and you go, I don't need to see any more cars ever again in my life. I've seen the rarest, I've seen the most expensive. And uh, we've got a lot more coming on this trip like this content that might be more JDM or might be more drift, but we just said we could grab this for you guys today because it's just so special. So yeah, let's um, take a moment to breathe it in. I'm sure you guys will probably rewind a little bit of this video just to take in the madness and um, yeah, I don't know. Usually I finish this on a hype, but I'm in hushed tones because I'm just, my mind is literally blown here. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. We've got more cool stuff coming up. See you there.